I want to talk to you now about something that is pretty personal to each individual printer, and that's the composing stick. Now there's, this is my own private stick. Uh, I will confess that it's comprised of the components from two different composing sticks, but it's mine and I love it dearly. The composing stick is comprised of the head, the foot, and you might think that's upside down, but remember we put the type in upside down, the bed, the end, the knee, which is adjustable, and the clamp, which allows you to move it around. This is a Rouse stick. It's called the Improved Standard Job Stick. The clamp and the knee are from one composing stick and the rest of it is from another. Printers want to be careful not to abuse them. And the way you can do that would be use it to hammer something or to pry something. Anything that would deform the stick is going to make it useless because the knee and the end have to remain parallel. Otherwise, as you set type, your measure across it will change. That's why you never force a piece of type into a stick. As I said, this is my own personal stick and I love it dearly and I think probably most printers in the trade have their own. It's one of those pieces of personal equipment. In the shop, as I said, we have a variety of sticks. This one is called a Yankee job stick, has a little clamp mechanism that allows you to set the measure. There's no measurements on this stick, so you have to put a piece of furniture or something in there to set that. Another older style, this is called the common screw, which you can loosen the screw and slide the knee back and forth, and on the bottom there are several different options of where you can put that together. It's another fairly old stick. This is the Buckeye stick and has a little locking mechanism here. I've seen pictures of these that are, are fairly long, so uh, they might have been used for setting uh, larger type. Here we have the Rouse job stick. This is called the French pattern, and that's because the knee does not have that little back brace on it that you saw on my own stick. Also a piece of this is missing. Uh, there's another piece that actually wraps around the bottom, and one of the things that makes that a very annoying is you can no longer lay that flat. This is a Manhattan type foundry stick. You notice it's very similar to the, the one that we just looked at. It has that little wrap around piece. Let's see, it goes completely under and back up onto this side and that stabilizes the knee quite well. And the two that I've saved for last are because I can't identify them. This is one of them. It has a little locking screw and that works. There's a, a little trench in the back here and that locks the knee with that trench. The only trouble is if you don't put some leading in there to begin with, a piece of type can fall over and disappear down in there and it's most annoying. And the final unidentified stick is I'm not sure it's sort of like one of the earlier ones we had here, the, the Yankee, except that this is made out of aluminum. I have no idea why. Most of them are just iron. I think uh, you could order them plated, but I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one. And modern sticks, and believe me, all of these are 
older sticks. The modern stick, uh, the adjustment mechanism on one of them has what they called a half pica switch where you could throw it and that would actually, if you didn't line up quite on the measure, you could throw it and change it by half a pica. And the, the latest one, I know we have one in collections, they just don't have it at the shop, has a micrometer on it and you can make adjustments as fine as one point. So that's composing sticks.